Wow, guys, pretty nice Monday morning surprise. You know, it's rainy outside, crappy weather, we where I'm at. And it's out of nowhere. Sony announces the Sony Xperia X3 Premium. So let's go over the specs and give my brief thoughts on it. Okay, guys, so this phone is a 4K HDR screen display, 5.8 inches. Uh, pretty rare for phone. Actually, nobody said from Sony is 4K phone. So um, 4K display, so it's pretty awesome. You have a 16x9 display rather than 18x9, which a lot of people like. On the back, you have two rear-facing cameras, so Sony uh, finally embracing dual cameras. One of them is 19 megapixels, the other one is 12. And Sony saying this is the highest ISO rating for any phone on the market. Uh, 12,800 for videos and an insane 51,200 for photos, so definitely going to be good in low-light situations there. The second camera is black and white monochrome, and we'll discuss that more in a few seconds. The front facing camera is 13 megapixels and I'm glad that Sony's given us this rather than the crappy one on the actually filming this video right now of the Sony Xperia X2, 5 megapixels on this one. The phone is a Snapdragon 45, 6 bytes of RAM, a pretty large 3540 capacity battery. Unfortunately, no headphone jack. Uh, I know guys, I've kind of given up on this for Sony at least. Maybe something in the future will get that back. But you do have stereo speakers and you also have wireless charging. Okay, so guys, the 4K screen, this is definitely pretty awesome. Um, again, it's really remarkable that no one aside from Sony is doing this. I mean, the Z5 Premium came out a few years ago, and still, nobody else is doing 4K screens at this point. Um, it is not AMOLED, but guys, the X2 screen is pretty amazing. Once again, LCD, so uh, I would not let that concern you. And yeah, I mean, a lot of people are happy that it's 16x9 rather than 18x9, but... Personally, I don't think it makes a big difference. I guess if you are going to be watching a lot of movies, a lot of, you know, YouTube content like this in native 4K, then, yeah, I, I think that is better. Um, but that I'll discuss my concerns more in a second, but uh, I do have concerns about the size. Now, the cameras, they sound pretty amazing. Um, I'm hoping that Sony can actually get their image processing up to date. Um, it's really, they have such amazing hardware. They seem to get the software in place, but... Um, yeah guys, once again, those ISO ratings, 12,800 for videos, 51,200 for the photos, just crazy specs there. Um, and yeah, 19 megapixel for the main one. The second one, this is black and white, this is monochrome, 12 megapixels. And honestly guys, I'm not a big fan of the monochrome. Um, I guess if, if you take a lot of black and whites, it is better than just using, uh, you know, using one of those filters is definitely better than using that. But instead of having a black and white camera, I would have preferred it to be telephoto, uh, used for zoom, so a telephoto lens, or a wide angle. Pretty happy that they're able to put a real front piece of camera on this. Snapdragon 45 6 bytes RAM. Guys, you know it's going to be insanely fast, and of course, we'll have those videos once it comes out. Uh, the battery, 3540. I think it's pretty good. You know, there are some phones with more than that, but still, definitely above average. Okay, guys, so now what I don't like about the phone... Uh, just on paper, it looks pretty big and heavy. Um, the bezels, they could definitely be smaller, but again, we do have those dual, uh, dual stereo speakers, front facing speakers on it. We also have a good front facing camera, so maybe that's why I was sacrificed. But I would have preferred the bezels to be a bit smaller than this. The fingerprint scanner is kind of in a weird place with the XE2. They should have put it a bit higher if they wanted to put it on the back. So, yeah, guys, I am concerned. It looks pretty heavy, it looks fat. Oh, and just keeping with that point, guys, uh, the only thing with the 16 by 9 display is it will be a bit fatter like that. Uh, the width is going to be a bit more, so just concerned that it may be kind of hard to hold it with a 5.8 inch, uh, inch screen display. But, of course, I do have to get my hands on it to know if that's true. And then aside from that, guys, I mean, all the other specs are pretty excellent. Um, obviously, I'm not happy about the headphone jack, but, yeah, I mean, at this point, I've just kind of accepted that Sony's doing it this way. So when the XE2 and the XE2 Compact were first announced, I was pretty critical of them. And I would say that they did surpass my initial expectations, but um, I, I thought that Sony could have done better. So the XE2 Premium, I will say, guys, this is better. Definitely doesn't look like a perfect phone by any means, but still, guys, uh, definitely excited about it. And really, guys, I just want Sony to do things that no other companies are doing, which they are doing with this phone. Once again, nobody else is doing 4K screens. Um, they have a world's, fir uh, world's first, at least at the ISO ratings for the cameras. So, yeah, overall, very balanced phone. Just the design I'm concerned about, but other than that, guys, uh, definitely sounds pretty good. Alright, guys, thanks for watching. Definitely let me know what you all think in the comment section below, and I'll see you next video.